We have a uh, radar sensor in front detecting the obstacle and measuring the relative speed and the distance. And based on that, we are calculating as soon as the driver starts steering, we are calculating an optimized trajectory and uh, give him, let me say, a recommendation to steer along this optimized trajectory. We help him and support him. So f first of all, I do it without the system. Just a steering maneuver, take care, okay. attention. And you, you can feel already now, we had a speed of 60. There's a high dynamic in the, in the, in the vehicle the early brake intervention of the car, reducing the, the yaw dynamic of the car. It makes the car much more easy to control. And in the next approach, I will show you how, how simple it will be to steer away this uh, obstacle. I'll just take two fingers here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now the system will start to steer away. It's very easy for me to control and the vehicle is very stable. And in the next approach now I will show you the cascaded, the total cascade of this situation, starting with a warning. The partly braking, and now partly braking and just steer along, that's all. The sensor can detect 200 meters. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, enough to to use it even at high speeds. But the, the point where it gets critical depends on my speed and the distance relative to the obstacle. Critical state is when, when we are starting to steer, it's approximately one second to collision. The driver has always uh, the responsibility of his car. So he can override yes. what's happening? Yes, happened. if the driver starts, the system will support. Right. And the driver, can always override and overrule the system.